Hatchet Filter, I'm Diane Mizota, counting down the coolest racing games of all time. The rankings for filter shows come directly from the responses you post on the G4 website. To make your vote count, log on to g4tv.com slash filter and select the filterator. Then choose a category, vote on a scale of 1 to 10, and we'll take care of the rest. While you're there, be sure to post your suggestions for topics and games you'd like to see covered in future episodes. Let's keep cruising down the list with the game at number 7, Cruisin' USA. You got to choose from one of four different muscle cars as you tried to power your way through 12 of America's more scenic racetracks. And that equaled one heap of fun. Sure, cruising may have been a sweet, leisurely ride, but if you really want to go cruising, then outruns your game. A shiny red Testarossa ragtop, now that's a sweet ride. And you even got to pick your own tubes. Outrun comes in at number six. Outrun would make my list of the best racing games of all time just because it was just a great, fun, arcade experience. You get to drive a Ferrari, you have a really hot girl next to you. It was the first racing game that I really got into, and so it just has that nostalgia spot in my heart. It was pretty awesome for the time, you know? It had the cheesy music blaring and the, the, the great colorful graphics, and uh, it was really good fun. Is, uh, one of those games that is sort of indicative of an era. Uh, so like whenever I drive up in Santa Monica or something, the game just comes to my head and the distinctive music comes to my head. All these great memories of that one. It is the definitive 1987 California video game. If you wiped out an outrun, your car was jettisoned into a series of flips, then you'd slide back into place and keep rolling. It was a pretty hardcore crash, but nowhere close to the worst. We asked you guys which games had the best wipeouts, and here's what you had to say. The most spectacular crash experience would be F-Zero. There's not only, you're, you're, I mean, you feel the speed in that game, and then you can feel the impact when you crash into the rubber barriers or into other cars. It's, that's awesome. Mario Kart 64. I liked it when I was driving and someone behind me took someone in front of me out and just to see them tumble and tumble was awesome. Road Rash. Just uh, the ability to, to fly along at 80, 90, 120 miles an hour on your motorcycle and knock the, the guy next to you off. And maybe you get knocked off as well and you go flying, you know, 100 yards on pavement get up, run back to your bike, get on, and do it all over again. Daytona USA, USA by Sega had uh, just really crazy crashes. It looked like a realistic Daytona racing game at first, you know, going around an oval, nothing just spectacular. But once in a while you crash, and all of a sudden, like, whoa, you're flying through the air, and your car's just all over the place. Midnight Club 2 from Rockstar, which you can do the same sort of, like, really big jumps and huge speed boosts and aerial stuff. You would just go off, and you could, like, land sideways on the top of a church and skid down with flames coming out of the car, and, you know, people would be running the screen in front of you. It's a really, really cool game. I'd say the most spectacular crash experience would be ATV off-road fury. Um, just the point of getting a high jump and flipping over and you know, maybe even bouncing into a cactus is just excellent. How's that for going out with a bang? And now it's back to the countdown. We're at number five. We have not a blast from the past, but a blast from the future. F-Zero is a futuristic racer that centers around one thing and one thing only, speed. 
game doesn't feature any weapons, but if you're looking to take out an opponent, try throwing your shoulder into it.